Good morning, rabbit lovers. Welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. I try to do health checks on all of my rabbits frequently, but it has been a little while since I have done health checks on my Angora rabbits, and I'm hoping to sell some of our kits soon. They're not really kits anymore, but they're still, you know, not fully adults. So, partly as preparation for that, and partly just because I should, I'm going to do a health check on all four of my Angoras today and I'm going to take you along with me. As you can see, I already have my grooming table set up. It's an old lamp stand with a board screwed on top and a towel over top of that. And now all I have to do is grab an Angora. Okay, this is Britta. She's, uh, I think, like around four months old. She's one of the Angoras I'm hoping to sell. I'm gonna do a health check on her. First, I'm looking at her eyes. Both of her eyes are looking normal and clear. They're not cloudy or goopy or crusty. Then I'm gonna check her nose. Looking at her nose, there's no snot coming out. It's clear and looks normal. Then I'm gonna check inside her ears. And it's easier for me to see than the camera. But I don't see any ear mites, so that's good. Then I'm going to look for fermites. We've had dealings with fermites in the past, and our most current treatment so far has been working, so I'm just gonna make sure it's still working. I'm gonna blow into her fur, look for flaky skin. Okay, after a thorough check, I saw a little bit of flaky skin at the nape of her neck. I checked along her body, especially in this area. This area sometimes has flaky skin too, especially if it's a bad case, and I believe before we started this current treatment that was, she had flaky skin everywhere, but now she only has a little bit and it doesn't even look very flaky. I don't know if it's, it kind of looks like it's healing, like it looks different than it usually does. So it's very possible that some flaky stuff didn't get out of her fur. In time we've been shaving them and letting them dust bathe in their cages and that's been working so far as I've been noticing, but she has a little bit left over, so I don't know if those are still like healing places where they just haven't healed all the way yet, or if it's the start of fermites again, or if the skin is healed but the flakiness is still trapped in her fur and she hasn't been able to groom it out yet. But even if it is still fermites and they're still active in creating dander, this is much, much better than it was. So it's thoroughly regressed, if not fully disappeared, since we've been doing this treatment. And I haven't been very good at refilling their dust bath because sometimes they dig out the material. So I'm planning on doing a better job on that. I've just been really busy and haven't been able to do it yet. So that is so far her mostly clean bill of health. Okay, this next part is going to be a little tricky to show you, but I'm going to try my best. I'm going to flip her over and check her underbelly and her girly parts. Okay, as you can see, her vent looks normal. She's for sure a girl. I don't see any major matting. And it looks like her other areas are normal as well. Let's see if I can hold the camera and do the same time. Let's check her teeth. Come on. Teeth look good. Sorry, not very good view for you guys. And throughout this whole process, she's been behaving very well. We have been shaving them this summer, so that's why her coat isn't really as big as it should be. So good job, Britta. Good job, pretty girl. So that's her. We have three more rabbits to do, and I'll take you through as I do them as well. All right, girly, you ready to go back to your cage? Come on. Okay, this is Briar. If I'm going to keep any of the three does we have from this litter, it's going to be her, mostly because of her coloring. Both her eyes are clear, very good eyes. Her nose, not sniffly. I've been watching for signs of pasturella, and we haven't had any white snot for a month. So it's been 30 days, and that's the typical quarantine period, so I feel pretty safe about selling these rabbits. We've been having pasturella on and off for a long time, but these guys have survived all of it with no snuffinly noses ever, and it's been a whole month since we've had to cull any angora for snuffles. So that's really good. Let's check her ears. Clean ears. 
That's so good. Ear mites are so frustrating when they happen. That's really good. Alright, let's check over by her neck. Okay, just finished checking. It's easier to part the fur and blow with two hands, so I had to set the camera down. But I saw no flaky skin at all, so that's really good. I tried to be very thorough. It's possible, you know, I missed some because there's a lot of whole dense thick fur in here. But I especially looked over here a whole bunch and over here. And I'm really looking, I'm really trying hard, and I don't see any flakes at all. See, like, but here's like a tiny little flake. Right there, see that little flake? But the dust bath material is like dirt and sand and stuff, so especially when I was first doing it, they would like cake themselves in dirt and dust and I'd shave them, and like under their fur it was like sand particles and I'd shave and make all these crackling noises as I was running the clippers through. It was so weird. So I kind of see like right here, where did it go? Right here is like some dirt from the dust bath. It's, it's kind of mostly empty now though. I just haven't gotten around to filling it back up. But yay! So you look healthy, you look good. So if she's looking good, we'll have to see how Balefather is doing. But if both of the other two rabbits are fine, then that leads me to believe it's possible, more likely that Britta also is good. She just still has some stuff stuck with her. Or it could be coming back again I have to do everything all over again. The back of her ears, it's clean and not scaly. That's the there. Alright, let's check your underbelly. Oh, you forgot their paws. Uh, you guys probably need a nail clip. Okay, duly noted. You need a nail clip soon. Will do. Alright, let's check your underbelly. Okay. Her poop hole and her other hole, both healthy. Nose still looks good. Let's see about the teeth. It's really hard with one hand. Teeth look good. Yay! It's hard to see the back teeth, so I'm just doing these ones, but good girl, sweetness. Alright, let's flip you around again. You're all done. Clean bill of health. Good girl. Come on, girly. Let's go. Okay, Balefire, here you go. Good girl. Okay, this is Balefire. Isn't she so pretty? When oh, good girl. Okay. Checking on you. Eyes. Other eye. Thank you. You're a little more wiggly than your sister's. Clean nose. That's so good. Ears, so clean. Isn't her fur gorgeous though? Look at how speckly it is. And let's check. Okay, so from what I can tell, Balefire has no flaky skin either. Isn't that so good? The mites are gone, at least for now. Hopefully they stay gone. Alright, let's check your belly. Both holes are nice and clean. Teeth are good. Nose looks good from this angle as well. Okay, so I can now give you two an official clean bill of health. You're so healthy from what I can tell. Good girl. You did so good with this checkup. Alright, let's do your dad. Come on, girl. You're all done. Okay, big boy. Here you go. Isn't he so pretty? Guys, look at him. Okay, this is Sylvan. He looks like an old man, but he's actually pretty young. Isn't he so pretty? I love him so much. Oh my gosh. He's the dad of all of the other three I have. It's just him and his daughters left. I picked him up out of his dust bath, so he might be a little more dirty than the others. But, alright, let's do a check. Oh, yes, pretty boy. Eyeball. Clean and nice looking. Other eyeball. Nose. A nose. Clean, good, clean nose. Oh, your nose is so pretty. Then ears. Clean ears. Look at these little tufts. These little fur tufts on his ears. Aren't they so cute? They're just tiny little ear tufts. How fun. Alright, then let me check for fur mites. Okay, just finished. And he has a lot more dirt stuck in his fur. It's a whole bunch of like brown bits and sandy bits. And he does have a little bit of flaky skin. Just a little bit. It's not like flaking off. It's just on the skin. It looks a little scaly. So like Britta, he could just be healing and it's still stuck there because he hasn't been able to groom it. Or it's possible that he still has fur mites, just a little bit. I don't really know what to think. So I might research or contemplate more on that. But for now we have two rabbits with a tiny bit of crusty skin. And two rabbits with normal perfect skin. Alright, now let's flip you over, Bubba. Okay. Yeah, I need to do a little bit of grooming on his underbelly as well. Let's see. Yep. His man parts are looking manly. And your other hole is clean, no blocked up scent holes. 
His teeth are good, nose is good. All right, let's flip you back over. Good boy. Okay, so you have a mostly clean bill of health too. So another day soon, I'll do a grooming session slash nail clipping session. Okay, good boy, let's bring you back to your cage. Come on, Bubba. So other than a little bit of fur mite dandruff that may or may not be a problem, all my angoras are looking healthy and good. I'm probably going to have to shave their underbellies again. It looks like their wool down there is getting a little long. And I think I'll shave all of them and then add more dust material to their backs just in case. And I'll probably hold off on selling any of the kits until they all are for sure healthy. Even though the weather is beginning to cool off a little bit, I think they'll still be good. It won't be too cold for them yet to be all shaved down. So yeah, that's how I do health checks on my Angoras. Thanks for watching. See, but now I have to clean up this stuff too. Alright, let's get to it.